Hey everyone, how's it going? Tonight I want to talk to you about the Volca FM firmware 1.08 unofficial patch. And if you're like me and you're new to, you know, musical hardware, you're just getting into it, you, you pick up one of these uh, rather cheapish uh, Volca FMs as your first little piece of hardware, you're playing around with it, you're, you're pretty happy with it, right? You're learning it. And um, then you hear about this unofficial patch and you're going, oh man, I don't even, uh, you know, I'm just getting the hang of this hardware thing. I, I don't really know if I want to put, let alone an official patch, let alone an unofficial patch on this. Like, I don't want to screw up my uh, synthesizer, so uh, you might ignore it. And that's what I did. And uh, my good friend David kind of poked me one day and said, have you seen this? And I said no. He's like, yeah, you might want to check it out. And he's, he's pretty up to speed on this stuff, so... Uh, I kind of dug in and did some research and uh, when I actually read the the feature set and kind of had a better understanding, I'm like, oh wow, that, that's that's really uh, cool. And and what I want to show tonight for those who are like me who uh, may have not upgraded their Volca FM or don't really realize the benefit in doing so is uh, two of the, uh, you know, really key features that, that one, you know, made this device I already really liked is something that is, is really quite powerful, for, at least for me right now. And those two features are uh, velocity enabled on a MIDI controller, uh, just like this Artura Cure Step, and um, uploading, you know, the Volca FM, you can, you, there's all tons of DX7 patches out in the net. And if you're like me, you were loading them in and maybe you had about, you know, two thirds of them would work. Uh, this um, unofficial firmware is going to make uh, pretty much all of them work now. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So the first thing we'll look at is a velocity uh, via uh, MIDI controller. And let's turn this bad boy on. And the first thing I'm going to say is, um, and I'll put links uh, down below to a video that I watched that actually explained how to install it that I thought was really uh, well done. And I'm going to put a link, I'll, I'll try to dig up where the, you can actually download the patch uh, these days. Um, yeah, so uh, the first thing to notice is um, you're going to download the patch, you're going to install it, and you're going to go, oh my god, um, you sold me on this and uh, none of this stuff's working, did I install the patch right or not? Uh, by default, uh, the velocity and also the patch upload is is uh, is turned off. So first thing I'm going to show you is demonstrate the velocity change. So right now, uh, this Volca FM has the patch installed, but through the global um, modifiers, I uh, I have it currently uh, disabled. Or global settings, I should say. I think it's the official name. Uh, so there's I got this patch called 80s Mystery. Uh, and what basically velocity is, is that if you have a velocity enabled uh, MIDI control device, depending on how hard you hit the key, it's going to make the key sound different. So right now velocity there is is disabled through the global setting. So it's going to sound the same if I lightly push on the key or if I push really hard. No difference to the sound at all, right? So let's go ahead and turn this off. And what we're going to do now is we are going to hold down the function key and turn it back on. And what that's doing is now we're in the global setting me, uh, menu. And down below you can see 1's enabled, 6 and 7 are enabled, and to get descriptions for 1 to 8, uh, you can just Google uh, Vocal FM uh, global settings. Oops. And what the new patch, unofficial patch, has done is introduce two new global settings. If I can get that damn MIDI cable to stick up there so you can see, whatever, we're going to deal with it. Um, so we have 9 and 10. So what 9 is now, if you enable 9, that's going to allow uh, velocity to be picked up on your MIDI device. It won't work on this ribbon keyboard, it's not velocity enabled, but if you're controlling it via an external uh, MIDI device, uh, it's going to pick up velocity if that MIDI device supports it. And 10, which I'll turn off, uh, I'll keep turned off for now, is um, the DX7 or, or whatever patch you load on. If it's turned off, um, I just noticed before I got this patch about, you know, 60-70% of them would sound like they did indexed. Um, since I have enabled this uh, firmware and turn on Global Setting 10, I'm batting pretty much a thousand percent on getting the sound out of dexed. Uh, to sound exactly like it sound indexed when I import it into the FM. We'll get into that next. Uh, so right now I have turned on the velocity. Now I have to hit record. That saves it to the Volca. It will reboot and now velocity will be enabled. And I'm just going to demonstrate that for you now. Uh, we will put it on 80s mystery again. And now watch this. If I lightly tap it, 
See, you can hardly hear it. Now if I hammer it down. So now that that's that's huge because you can be on just, you know, you have a velocity slider on there, but are you really going to be juggling that around and, and, and playing away? No, you can actually, you know, you know, have a little bit of um, emotion as you play with it, your fingers. Is, yeah, so that right there is probably for a lot of you who have something like this and you don't have the patch yet, uh, is going to get you a lot more mileage out of this device just with that velocity uh, new setting alone. Okay, so uh, now that we've covered the uh, velocity option, um, let's look at um, you know the, the patch upload uh, difference. So uh, right now I have it set so it's just like a, a regular Volca one that hasn't had this uh, 1.8 pouch uh, installed on it. So. What we're going to do now is, I believe this hold me down patch uh, didn't work before with uh, until I got this patch. And then you can, I'll just demonstrate for you. It's it's a pretty uh, cool effect. You just hold it down and it will slowly build up and you get the idea and it keeps on going and going and going. So didn't sound at all like this before. Uh, now I do have the upload uh, function off right now, but because I uploaded it with it on, it, it sounds correctly. Um, so let's just demonstrate that. So you just heard what it sounds like uh, now with the new patch. So what I'm gonna do is um, just unplug my key step. Find my, oh, already right, took it out. Finding a head here, perfect. Uh, also, one thing to note, uh, just as a bonus, is this uh, Roland uh, USB UM-1 uh, works well for loading uh, patches from your PC to the Volca. Uh, that was one of my first missteps, is I bought just a simple kind of, not a cheap cable, but a cheap uh, USB interface, and yeah, I could connect uh, the MIDI uh, into the MIDI out on the PC, but uh, the um, the media message that actually loads the patches to the FM would not go through that, and it wasn't until I bought a more expensive cable like this that I could actually get patches to the FM. So, if you if this video inspires you to try to start loading um, patches to your FM, just uh, note that do do a little research on the cable uh, setup you buy before you you go. I'll do that. This one this one will work. I'm sure certain others will too. Maybe some cheaper ones. But um, this one works for sure, I can tell you that, at least for me, on uh, Windows 10. So we're going to plug that in there, and I need a little bit more cord length here. And we're going to plug this into the PC. Can't see that, but I'm just getting the USB plugged in. Okay, so it's on now, it's plugged into the PC. Gonna go to let's see if I can angle this up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry, this is kind of crappy, but I just already have Dex here loaded. And if you want to load something in, I'm just gonna reload Dex because sometimes it doesn't play nice when you plug something in when it's already opened. So open up Dex. I already have a couple of patch things ready to go. So hold me down. Here's to hold me down. Uh, I'll just pick it up so you can see. I'm just going to right click on that and send it to my DX7, which is really my Volca FM. Do that. And I don't have the MIDI, uh, the uh, key step plugged in, but let's see what happens. So it, you can you can hear that it, that it works, but it doesn't sound like it did before, eh? So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to show you what will happen now when I enable that global setting. And sorry about the camera work here. All right, so we'll turn it off. Unplug this. Going to turn off Dext again. All right. So hold down Function. Turn it back on. Global settings. Uh, so 10 is what's going to let those. Uh, DX7 patches go in nice. We'll turn that on uh, and we will hit record and bang. It's okay. It's re-enabled. I'm going to plug in my fancy uh, 
mediated cable to my PC again here. Make sure I plug it in the right way. There we go. All right, plug it, USB in and out of the computer. There we go, and we'll load up Dext. There we go. And let's uh, cancel out of this. And we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go find Hold Me Down, and it should be on the Volca now, and now listen to this. See? What a difference, eh? You actually get the effect that you expect that you hear in Dext. So right there, um, the velocity and that, you know the fact that, you know, you might have bought uh, one of these Volca FMs figuring, oh hey, it's a really mobile DX7, all these patches that I like that are easy to throw in there, you know, it's, that's perfect. I can throw this in my backpack and I have a DX7. Um, this patch gets you, or pardon me, this, this unofficial firmware gets you that much closer where I yet to really find anything indexed sound really different with this patch with that global setting 10 enabled that and the velocity uh, make this a huge uh, a huge win and uh, makes this device you know it was already really good it is it, pretty amazing for you know the 200 dollars ca canadian uh, price point i paid for it. it i'm more than happy with it okay uh bonus time so i've covered the velocity change that i thought was awesome and I've also covered, you know, the the patch upload change. That was that was that was critical for me too. I was, it would be frustrating, you know, to spend a night uh, going through a whole bunch of DX7 patches, you know, finding, you know, 30 you like, and you know, and thinking, oh, these are going to be awesome, and then you load them on there, and half of them sound like crap. Not happening anymore with this patch, which which is huge. Um, beyond that, there's a couple other nice things that have been adjusted. I don't fully understand this myself, but supposedly there was uh, some uh, bugs with how F LFO was uh, worked on this beforehand. Those have been um, now corrected. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those. If you're not, uh, check the description below. I'll post to the Reddit post uh, that, that was uh, pushed when this uh, unofficial patch went live. It has all the technical deal details that you uh, that you, I don't even understand. Uh, beyond that, uh, the other cool thing that, that, that's been added is, let's just uh, go ahead and play with every stored on here. So you might notice if you don't have this uh, f um, firmware upgrade, if you switch programs while you have uh, a pattern playing, you, you get like kind of a click sound depending on when you change it if notes are playing. And that's been, sometimes you get it hardly ever, but it's been mostly gone now so what that means is for performance wise if you have a pattern that works well with two different patches um, you can switch between the two of them now like before it didn't really matter if you're just jamming around by yourself but if you're if you're trying to do something live with this um, you can now save a pattern and switch on the fly between two uh, patches quite easily and you don't won't have that awful um, ticking sound when you're doing that so it uh, wasn't huge for me, but maybe for you, so that's just a little bonus for you. Anyway, I, I strongly consider if you have a Vocal FM and you haven't um, upgraded yet, I strongly uh, suggest you do so. Um, you know, it's it's not absolutely risk-free, but it, it's as close as you can be to being risk-free with, <laughs> with not. Like, I haven't heard anyone on the, the Reddit, uh, you know, bitching that they, they've... Uh, they brick their Volca by applying it. Um, I'll, I'll, like, I, like I said, I'll put, put post in the description below uh, some links to the um, the, re the initial Reddit post. Uh, I'll try to track down the um, patch file itself, and I will uh, also post the video that explains how to uh, uh, install the patch that that to help me out. So I, I hope uh, you you enjoyed this and. Let me know uh, below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to uh, help. And if I've, uh, you know, I'm still learning all this stuff. So if I've uh, explained anything wrong, feel free to throw it down there too. And uh, I will definitely uh, look into anything you guys uh, post down there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I will uh, see you later.